that's the entrance to the big hall. Stakeman Hall, it's called. Go. Well, we are here at Rudersteiner College. And uh, maybe first of all, you can tell me your name and what you do at the college. My name is Astrid schmidt Stegmann, and I direct the teacher training program here at the college. Okay. So the teachers who will eventually go into a Waldorf school or a Waldorf charter school, they come to me and, uh, yeah, we look at what it entails to become a Waldorf teacher. Right. Okay. And I understand that you have quite a history with the college. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about uh, your parents and uh, how your own destiny was formed through that. Yeah, my, pa my parents started this college and they were here in the United States. I was not here at that time. I was teaching in a German Waldorf school to find out how it is to have 45 children in a class. Yes. And I took a first grade there in Mannheim, Germany. And uh, then I came back here and the college was established in some fashion when I came back. And when, when about was that? Uh, that was in uh, 1979. Ah, okay. So it was the same time as Brian. Brian Greig said he, he came in, in 79. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we came back from Germany at that time where we had been, my husband too, who's also a Waldorf teacher. And uh, when we came here, uh, my mother is a eurythmist, so she was teaching eurythmy here. Mm -hmm. And my father was very interested in, in America. Yeah. And so the college started really around... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to look back to the spiritual America right. and build up on that. That was his great interest. Yeah. And that is also why they started this college. And what later when Rene Carrido came, then it became more a teacher education place. Yeah. Yeah, I understand your father was uh, um, a, a Christian community priest, am I correct? Yes, he was a Christian community priest and he always said, my profession is being a priest and my love is anthroposophy. Mm -hmm. So he was always active in both, not mm -hmm. merely in the Christian community, mm -hmm. as you often see it when yes. somebody is a priest, yes. but he was very strong in anthroposophy and in Germany built that up mm -hmm. uh, and then here too. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, your mom, uh, she was a Eurythmist, where did she train? She trained in Germany, in Stuttgart, with Else Klink. Oh, wow. One of the great original no. Eurythmists. Yeah. She loved Eurythmy. Oh, yeah. And she did it everywhere. And here, there was a great interest, especially from the young people, mm -hmm. in this art of movement. Yeah, yeah. When, when did your parents come to America? They came first to America in about uh, 67 to visit me. They you were here in, at the time. I was here at the time, then again in 69. And then gradually they decided to move over here and build up the work for America and the spiritual deeper America that uh, he, as I said, was We're so, so interested very, in. very interested in. Yeah, yeah. In other words, um, if I get the story, you must have been born in Germany then? I wasn't born in Germany. Amazing. So, and then you came here first, and then they came after, and then you yes. went back? <laughs> yes, I was here first when I was 18, visiting. Uh -huh. 
and I liked it in many ways yeah, and yeah. so I came back later on Amazing. and then when I was here then they came to visit and then gradually stayed too mm -hmm. and then they were asked by a group up here to come and give lectures and that is then what turned into this college that's what it, I mean, it's an amazing journey. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have any indications when you were a child that um, you would have a destiny like this? No, actually not. I was set to stay in Europe, uh, but my father had that great love for America all where, the where, time. Where do you think that came from? It came from Rudolf Steiner, who spoke about the workers in Germany and how free and open they were mm -hmm. to a spiritual um, inspiration and spiritual yeah, paths and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then he made the connection, Steiner, that this was also in America. Mm -hmm. And this is from, yeah, from then on, really, my father was very, very interested in that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, because he came from a worker's family in Germany. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And he had that will uh, that uh, Steiner spoke of that workers had in Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, then he thought, wow, well, if that is in America, then I have, I have to, go to go there. there. And from that time on, it was always, yeah. I have to go to America, America at one time. I really want to go to America. Do you America. suppose you went to America <laughs> first because you had that in you from him? Well, we actually, in the beginning, we said, oh, Father, just go to Frankfurt, Germany, uh -huh. and you will see the big cities that you find in America. <laughs> yeah, you have the same thing. You can stay here. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, he thought that was funny, but he didn't go for that. No. So my parents came over, and um, then we also. And then, like I say, back and forth a little bit. Back and forth. Yeah. I went back yeah. and forth, yeah. and uh, but I... I took a class through here at the Sacramento Waldorf School mm -hmm. and of course a class in Germany. So I have both of those aspects, yeah? yeah. How we taught over there with a 45 in the class. Yes. And then over here I also had over 30. Yeah. And this gives me the background now of really course. to do teacher training. Of course, of course. If you've been in the classroom, you know what goes on. <laughs> yeah. Although I've the traveled children... all over the world, oh, yeah. you know, working. Yeah. In, yeah. in Asia, working in Europe, working here, yeah. and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. Did you then have uh, brothers and sisters? Oh, I did, yes. They're all in Germany, though. Isn't that amazing? Yes. So you have to go over there to see them. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> are they all into anthroposophy? Yes, they all are into anthroposophy. Wow. And that is, of course, my great love, and yeah. that is what makes life worth living. Well, that's what I say. I mean, yeah. my experience with Rudolf Steiner is certainly world changing and it yes. has our world uh, radically needs change. So it needs change. Yeah. It needs change in the thinking. Yeah. It needs an openness yeah. Yeah. Uh, to other human beings, cultures yeah. and so forth, but also to realize that there is a spiritual world and that yeah. we are connected with that world exactly. in every way. That is really quite visible on the internet. Mm -hmm. People really, I mean, there are so mm -hmm. many posts that talk about that yeah. we have to make this a planet of love and not a planet right. of war. Exactly. People exactly. do get that. People yeah. do get that. Yeah. So wh what are the plans for the college at the moment and how is it going? Well, the plans for the college at the moment are accreditation. Uh, I do believe that for the whole Waldorf movement, and for all of anthroposophy, it would be a great step forward mm -hmm. if some of our institutions were accredited mm -hmm. and would have the recognition mm -hmm. that what we do here is really superb mm -hmm. and opens up a tremendous understanding of what is happening in the world right. and how human beings develop.
right. and what a healing education really is. Yes. Yeah. And how the arts need to work into education to bring about that healing yeah. in humanity in our time and in the future as I see it. Yeah. Yeah. That will be a major, major aspect right. and focus that we have to have. Well, of course, I think that was um, uh, Udo Steiner's um, impetus uh, for the Walter schools, which, I mean, even yes. at that time, it was hard to establish, but uh, yes. very popular. Yes. I mean, and it seems yes. to me, I mean, I've, I've been in a lot of Walter schools. Uh, it seems that the parents need the Waldorf more than the children sometimes. <laughs> yes. You know? Yes. I mean, oh, yeah, we can see that too. Yeah. Yes. And very often it is the children that bring the parents to the school. Yeah, yeah. And that is also interesting when we hear that. And then the parents find this community. Yeah where they can finally feel at home right. in a valued environment yeah. that is really there to support the children and the family. Yes, yes. And that is for them what they need for life. Yeah. They realize that. Yeah. And uh, that is, of course, what Steiner wanted from the beginning. Exactly. Yes. Do you know how many uh, schools there are worldwide and how many in California, for instance? Well, there are certainly over a thousand full schools mm -hmm. and in worldwide and many more um, early childhood education, kindergarten situations yeah. throughout the world. Yeah, yeah. And we see it now really growing and or awakening in China. Oh, yes. And uh, Taiwan and other places like that, Korea. You, you said that you've so, been, have you been to these places? Um, uh, I go to the Philippines. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. And, um, yeah, go, go ahead. <laughs> well, now, <laughs> now that we've got the telephone call over with, yes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can tell me a little bit more about your childhood and uh, your education and how you, uh, you know, how, how this impulse of anthroposophy actually got to you. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I, when I was around 18, 19, I was very much interested in the arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took uh, acting classes in Donach, Switzerland for uh, a year and also began a eurythmy study there. So I was solely in the arts, eurythmy and then working on speech, on mm -hmm. um, acting, stage performances and so forth. That was the time from 18 into my early 20s and uh, I loved that very much and that brought me into connection with uh, anthroposophy very and you were strongly. Away, and you were away from home then? I was away from home. I was in Switzerland mm -hmm. and uh, studying both at the same time, mm -hmm. taking eurythmy and taking drama, acting and so on. Yeah. I had not entirely made up my mind which one I wanted but both were really an enormous help for later on, which I didn't know then. Well, that's what I'm getting at. When I became a teacher, I yeah. needed these artistic skills yes. because in the Waldorf School, as you well know, mm -hmm. we work very artistically as teachers and the children do plays mm -hmm. and the children have eurythmy. It's not that I was yeah, being in a eurythmy teacher. No. But I had an understanding of all those yes, things. Yes. 